Let's talk about Discord. It's turned into a, an info stealing backdoor by this new malware that's been reported on Bleeping Computer. This is very important for the cryptocurrency community because you need to be paying attention to what's going on in Discord. A lot of cases, I'm sure if you're in Discord and you're in any cryptocurrency focused Discord channel that you've gotten some sort of spam from people. Be careful not to click anything in this spam because what you'll notice is that typically it's something like OpenSea.fo or something along those lines where they just change maybe the, the domain there just a tad to where you don't recognize it right away. You click it and then it basically runs some sort of malware on your system. One of these, of course, is a new malware that is targeting Discord users by modifying the Windows Discord client so it is transformed into a backdoor and information stealing Trojan. The Windows Discord client is an Electron application, which means that almost all of its functionality is derived from HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This allows malware to modify its core files so that the client executes malicious behavior on startup. Discovered by researcher Malware Hunter team earlier this month, this malware is called SpideyBot based on the name of the Discord command and control channel that the malware communicated with. A comment in the article the, below, though, claims its real name is Blueface. When installed, the malware will add its own malicious JavaScript to your app data Discord folder in the modules, and it gives you the full path here to go check for yourself. And this would be a readout in Notepad of what it ends up writing into that file. The malware will then terminate and restart the Discord app in order for the new JavaScript changes to be executed. Once started, the JavaScript will execute various Discord API commands and JavaScript functions to collect a variety of information about the user that is then sent via a Discord webhook to the attacker. The information here that is collected includes Discord user tokens, victim time zone, screen resolution, victim's local IP address, victim's public IP address via WebRTC, user information such as username, email address, phone number, and more, whether they have stored payment information, Zoom factor, browser user agent, Discord version, and the first 50 characters of the victim's Windows clipboard. So if you're control seeing those seed phrases well good luck my good sir because you shouldn't be control seeing those because obviously this would happen now there are applications that you can install that will clear your clipboard i highly recommend them uh, some are built into antivirus or password manager options and that's going to be really really good because it'll just basically on a cycle clear your clipboard I would highly recommend that even if you don't use Discord, anything else, uh, clearing that clipboard can be very, very important, especially if you're copying and pasting passwords from like a password generator, hence why a lot of password generators will have this automatically built into the suite where it will just automatically clear it. It's very important to keep that on your system at all times, especially with your copying seed phrases and so on. At this time, the above site is down, but is known if, uh, uh, but is not known if the different sample utilizes a different site or not. Furthermore, one commenter below states that the malware has been discontinued, but we have no way of confirming that. Researcher and reverse engineer Vitali Kremens, Kremens, Kremes, there we go, uh, who also analyzed the malware, told Bleeping Computer that the infection has been seen using file names such as bluefacerewardclaimer.exe and synapsex.exe. While it's not 100% sure how it's being spread, uh, Kermes feels that the attacker is using Discord messaging to spread the malware. As this infection shows no outward indication that it has been compromised, the user will have no idea they are infected unless they perform a network sniffing and see the unusual API and webhook calls. If the installer is detected and removed, the modified Discord files will still remain infected and continue to be executed each time you start the client. The only way to clean the infection will be to uninstall the Discord app and reinstall it so that the modified files are removed. Even worse, after over two weeks, this Discord malware still only has 24 of 65 detections on virus total. Checking if your Discord client has been modified is very easy, as the targeted files normally have only one line of code in them. 
So you can check your app data for me. It should only have one line of code, which is this mod module exports equals. This is correct. And you need to check it in both of these locations, which is going to be your Discord modules and then the Discord desktop core. Make sure both of them only have it. Links down in the description so you guys can check for the malware yourself. Be very careful out there, guys. And like I said, there's other things you can do to prevent this, like, for example, not copying and pasting your seed phrases, making sure that you have a clipboard clear application of some sort, and don't click suspicious links within Discord private messages or even within Discord channels. That's going to be pretty much it. I just want to make sure that everybody stays protected because at this point we have spam and bots and scammers all over the place, especially within cryptocurrency. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.